This is a, a study in how important globes are in world affairs and government and war and uh, history. Um, here we have Theodore Roosevelt, Teddy himself, globetrotter, um, and here is a lovely globe uh, he has. I think this is, must be at his home, not uh, in the White House. And um, we have had a very, very similar globe to that. They're pretty hard to find at this point. And here we have another Roosevelt, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. And uh, this is a globe. This is very important. This is World War II era. And uh, an American company made this very large globe. At that time, it was the about the same size as that, one of the best globes made, and it could rotate on these rollers. And they sent an exact duplicate uh, to Winston Churchill in London so that they could coordinate using precisely the same globe. This is at such and such a place and so on and uh, on the globe. And, uh, of course, there were name changes constantly uh, on these things, and we'll see it by this last globe. Um, and then... Thirdly, here's an um, actual general who used globes and maps uh, in World War II. This is Dwight David Eisenhower, and he's standing beside a globe which we have had two or three of. Um, this is a 30-inch globe. Um, I think it's the Replogal. Um, and uh, so that is uh, kind of a plan of play of fairly famous American presidents who uh, used globes, and you can see it right there. This, however, is a very, very rare uh, World War II globe, uh, and actually dated March 1946. And uh, it was the definitive state of the globe by Weber Costello. It was uh, made for the War Department. And uh, the um, cap, which was specially made, uh, it says Department of State, Division of Geography and Cartography, March 1944. This is near the end of the war, but uh, and so they have updated the globe, and there are several places where they do not. Um, this is this thing about uh, copyright by Weber Costello, but it material added uh, by the government of the United States. Uh, and so it, it's actually a one-of-a-kind globe. <clears throat> and the uh, kind that would go in the Library of Congress. And uh, this is uh, in exceptional condition considering the fact that it was obviously used and probably quite a, uh, a number of times during the war in Pacific in particular, because that was lasting long. Uh, and uh, so this is, uh, they mentioned in there, the government of the United States has not recognized the incorporation of Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania into the Soviet Union, nor does it recognize as final, the de facto western limit of Polish administration in Germany, the Odernice. Uh Some other boundaries do not necessarily correspond to the boundaries recognized by the United States government. Sovereignty is indicated as a, for a number of islands in the Pacific Ocean uh, which are claimed by the United States and also by the United Kingdom and New Zealand. So we're just having a little dispute there during the war, uh, but this uh, is a, a lovely, rare, historically important globe.